Fishing Centre. There you go. Good evening, everybody. Welcome to uh, South Yorkshire Ghost Hunters tonight. Out on location at Grace Jew Priory over in. Uh, uh, That's the shop. Shep Shed. Shed. <laughs> You'll keep on thinking shit shed. <laughs> shit shed. <laughs> Shep Shed. I thought you might have uh, sat in front of the fire, Diane, and uh, gave it that. Uh, it might, it might get going off. Uh, uh, could chuck you inside the fire. Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah, I'll just, yeah. I'll just... and uh, we could pretend that you're a witch, and we could be burning you at the uh, at the yeah, stake. Very good. So anyway, we're down here at uh, uh, Grace Jew Priory. Uh, we've been here before. Uh, uh, was a couple of years ago. Was it just before COVID, or when we was allowed to go out in a group of six? I can't it remember. It was like an in between. It was in between COVID. In between COVID. When we, we were allowed out. Yeah. Yeah, I think we were allowed out in a group of six, weren't we? There were four of us though, so we were under, yeah. under numbers. So we was good. We were very good. We were very good. We, 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 were, we were well behaved. Now, I will say I have got lots and lots and lots and lots and lots. About 10 pages full, but I'm Oh, gonna... that's it then. We can read 10 pages. <laughs> I can read you 10 pages. Because yeah. I've gone right into depth of everything. Right. Uh, I'll just read you the... Let, the let me get into a comfortable position. I don't want to be sitting on that rock. <coughs> I thought you would have brought... Oh, me a chair down as well. I didn't know you were going to sat. Oh, the cameraman can't keep on uh, standing. <laughs> Especially at my age. Yeah. So I've got the first couple of pages, oh, no, which is everything, everything that we actually need to know. Right. But I have actually got about ten pages. It I'm goes into oh, in depth of the different, you know, the uh, Augustine Priory, and all. Oh, I've gone off on tangent with, so I went a bit too far. Uh -huh. As I do. You like that word? I know. Tangent. I do. I go off on tangent. There's so much something to look at when I'm researching stuff, and I don't understand what it is or whatever. Uh -huh. Go and have a look. Research. Right, so Grestra Priory it was an independent Augustinian priory near Thringston in Leicestershire, England. It was founded around 1234 to 1241 by the Rosier de, Va de Vardun and dissolved in October 1538. It was dedicated to the Holy Trinity and St Mary. Today the site is managed by the Friends of Grestra Priory a charitable group of volunteers who fundraise to care for the site and keep it open to the public for free. So the Priory was endowed with the manor of Belton, Leicestershire, and Kirk being Kestephen, Kirk being left thought, there's a question mark on that because they're not sure what it was called in the days gone by, as well as the um, <coughs> Belton Church. The pri Priory was unusual in being independent of outside control so the nuns call themselves the white nuns of st augustine and there is thought to be uh, no other houses of their order in the country so it's the only one the priory was fairly large having in 1337 16 nuns it also had an attached hospital which I think is over that way. Mm -hmm. I think, yeah, I think yeah, that would be over that way, too. I think. Which cared for 12 poor people. The Priory did, however, have some unusual practices. For example, the nuns were forbidden ever to leave the Priory precinct. The Priory escaped the first wave of dissolution of the smaller monasteries, but were finally dissolved in 1538. Uh, following the dissolution, the site was granted to Sir Humphrey Forster, who sold it to John Beaumont in 1539. Ooh. He converted the Priory buildings I've got books all over me, into a residence which he remained within his family until 1684. Then it was bought by Sir Ambrose Phillips, a wealthy lawyer, who also built nearby Grendon Hall. We've not seen that yet, have we, Grendon Hall? No. Sir Ambrose had most of the buildings pulled down and by 1730 the remaining buildings were ruinous with only two sections still roofed which I think it would over that way which they're not now are they? There's no, not much I've just prickled myself on a nettle. I need a dot leaf. So I just prickled my fingers. Okay. 
that's the same stuff. So, the Priory passed through the Phillips and March families until 1833 when Charles March Phillips gave the Priory to his son, Ambrose Lyle March Phillips, who assumed the surname De Lyle. Ambrose constructed a new house in Tudor Gothic style known as Grace Germana, 300 yards south of the Priory ruins. The March Philip de Lisle family owned the house until 1933. Although their main residence was the hall they built at the former Gardenan Abbey. Following the death of two of its heads in quick <coughs> succession, the family needed to tighten its belt, so in 1885 moved out of garden and into Grace Dewar Manor. A return to the fortunes allowed the family to return to the Grandin once more in 1907. So we're getting up to date a little bit. A return to, um, now we've got that. So 1907 finally. In 1964 Grandin Hall was demolished and the family returned to Grace Dewar for the final time. Wow. Selling the house within a decade, Grace Germana then became a Catholic school. Ooh, that's up that way. We know where that is, don't we? What? That Catholic school's up that way. I don't know. Yeah, because you know when last time we came and we walked all the way around? Right. We come to the gates of the school. Yeah. So we know where that is. So in uh, 1972, <coughs> the family moved to Quenby Hall. <coughs> Sorry, say again. Um, in 1972, the family moved to Quenby Hall. But following the collapse of the family cheese-making business... The family had been forced to offer hall for sale. It must be Leicester Cheese. Mm, maybe. Leicestershire Cheese. Um, it's been for sale since 2012. So it's up for sale still? Mm, yeah. So the Priory buildings still exist as ruins. A conversa uh, com yeah, conservation project on the remains was completed in 2005 and it's been managed by the Friends of Grish Priory. Um, and obviously they try to keep it open for the public and I think just recently, last year, there's been a lot of people coming up and being silly and damaged. Yeah, and that's disgusting things. that, isn't it, when Absolutely. people come come and, uh, They've caused about and, and cause damage. damage. I mean, people, this is our history. Mm, why why, why do, This is This is our, uh, our history, it. what uh, we come to. <laughs> And, I love my uh, and then you get people that come along and, and try to destroy uh, 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 historical buildings like this. Yeah, it's ridiculous. And, uh, okay, there's not much <coughs> left of uh, Grace Jewel Priory, but come on, people, have some respect and uh, teach your children. Teach your children about the history because it all in. It, it's all part of our lives as what has happened. You don't want our history. The problem is today, Diane, with my, especially with my children, they don't learn history no more. No. They, they, they learn about some things. I mean, my, I mean, my, my kids, I says, what did you learn at school in history? Well, we, we learned about World War Two, which, yeah, everybody should learn about World War Two. Uh, and, and probably the Great War. I said, well, don't you know anything else? Don't you know anything about King Henry and the Tudors and uh, Queen Elizabeth and uh, uh, all the things? Uh, and they said, no, we don't do that at school. I said, well, that, I said, well, that I was brought up on history. You'd like to learn that at school. You did? And uh, I said, uh, do, you, do you know who Robin Hood is? And I, I said this to my kids, and they said, never heard of him, who's Robin Hood? And I went, you what? You've never heard of Robin Hood? Everybody's heard of Robin Hood. And this is well, they aren't taught us about Robin Hood in school. And, and I, I think to myself nowadays, what are they teaching them? I mean, they do, like, modern history, which is, like... Modern history is no history. good, is it? No, you've got to look to the past to look to the yeah, future. Yeah, you've got to keep the... You've, you've got to keep... Know something. The British... History going, you know, the culture of Great Britain, and yeah. all right, uh, well, if England, Scotland, Wales, and, and, and Ireland, uh, Northern Ireland, uh, well, anything that was part of the UK at that uh, particular time, I mean, Ireland was part of uh, the UK till uh, 1930, I think 1935, and then was it 1935? Something like that? No. no. Was it? And then uh, Ireland became independent? I can't remember if it was 18 or 90. I think it was 19. 19, or was it 1940? Something like that, anyway. Uh, when 
because Ireland used to belong to uh, to the UK. I can't remember the exact date now, but what do you call it? We're getting old. Yeah. That's why. That's why young ones need to know their history. Yeah, that's it. I am educated for a couple of years mm. um, before my son went to uh, com. Uh, and I went. We went through all the Victorian era and why kids actually go to school, mm. and what happened to kids and what they did and how they worked and everything. And yeah, know, we did loads and loads of work on that. Yeah. And then obviously to, to give him an idea of why you need an education and why it's important and stuff. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. But, but yeah, that's the problem with today. There's no need. I mean, if people aren't interested in heritage and they're not interested in the history then they need to keep away from these sites instead of coming and well, attacking them and ruining them if you're not interested keep away well, because the, there's the, plenty the, more people that are interested. yeah the problem is dan you, you get people like young people <laughs> that'll come in down here and uh, the piss heads yeah. basically i mean yeah. you can see cans over there yeah, well, the, there's, a, there's a kind of alcohol the over there you can sit in the back garden yeah but they don't want to do that do they? they don't want to do it on their own doorstep they want to uh, let's go and wreck somewhere else and uh, uh and stuff not fair, really not. anyway let's go back to okay, the can uh, we go, can we go to paranormal can i go can we go paranormal yeah go on then so the priory is reputed to be the site of a frequently paranormal phenomena sometimes attributed the priory's proximity of the Thrinston Fault. Yep. Several ley lines and some other pagan significance attached to the site. The ruins are home to the myth mystical ghost, the White Lady. Ooh, we've not seen her yet, have we? No, we've not seen her, yeah, but we A did see something. A comprehensive record of sighting dates back as far as 1926. Um, so there is... Um, now then, you know that there's a bus shelter at the bottom? Is there? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, on the main road. So, many of the sightings are remarkable and uniform in terms of description and specific location. Right, so some say it's white, some say grey, but there's maybe robed, maybe no hands or feet, hovering or gliding above the ground. Yeah. And it appears to be in the vicinity of the old bus shelter, which is just at the back of me oh, hey. on the road so that's another sighting mm. uh, we should go to the bus stop yeah we'll go that way in a bit later and see if we can uh, use uh, somewhere and there's a paul Devereux. Uh, he wrote a book in 1982 and he uh, refers to grace de, de priory earth lights towards the explanation of the ufo enig enigma Mm. Because obviously this area is reputedly um, UFO hotspot. Yep, and we got something last time oh, we was here, didn't I we? I know. Do you know Summit Martin? Um, I know we've started having activity and things happening when we're leaving, so we're going to try our best now to carry on recording when we're leaving places because the last time we were here, we were walking out the gate yep. to the um, to get up to the path that you go to lead out uh, and then this light just shot now I'd say six foot but I think it were higher than six foot because we were going uphill so yeah I don't I don't know how, you, how why it was you, you possibly you, you're about six foot yeah yeah so if we're going uphill it was higher up it seemed to be a lot higher, so maybe we should yeah. Uh, try. Ah, to but it, yeah, could, the yeah, the the, the light shot straight past us and straight in front of us. Straight in front of us. And to me, I don't know. I got the sense that it was somewhere on a on a, on a bike. Well, it would look like um, if someone's got a helmet on with a light, it would yeah. look like that. That's what it looked like. But there was but a wall in front of us. It just disappeared, didn't it? There. And you and there's a gate. So yeah. anybody going down that path would have had to. Up, get stop. Off the bike, or yep. stop. Open the gate, go through, yeah. and shut the gate. Yeah, that's what I meant to say. It yeah. went to what but, I call it. it was it was the gate. But the thing is, we us we weren't that far away. We were only up skipping a jump from the actual main path. Yeah. So within a couple of a couple of what well, a couple of steps. But we're about ten we foot away from the we were, yeah, from the gate, exactly. and nobody got off the bike. No, no, there was nothing. It, there. it went straight through actually, straight through. and yeah. and and disappeared. So that were really, really, and then there's that light that you saw. Then there was a square light in the sky. It, it looked, was an orange square light. Yeah. It looked like a window. That's what I thought. It looked like somebody turning on a bedroom light upstairs. Yeah. 
So I'm stood in front of you, obviously, because we couldn't see it at first. So I thought, well, I'll go stand in front of you so I can see it. And I saw it, but it was huge. It was up in, uh, as high as a tree. Yeah. So I thought, oh, there must be some houses. But then we Google, Googled it and found out there's no Yeah, hey, I'm thinking about it now. The it shape of a window. It was square. It was square. Sorry. Was it was it just square or was it just small squares in it? I can't remember no, just, now. To me, I just could see... Well, like, well, you could probably saw a bit more than me because you're yeah. taller than me. I just saw square. Yeah, but it was orange. orange yellow yeah. Light. yeah, it was orange and it was orange in the sky, in, above us. Above the trees. So above like, the woods. In the trees, yeah. Yeah, so the woods, no is, the woods is yeah. over there. Literally there. But you can't see it because uh, my, my light's not going far enough. But it just went off as well. Yeah, it just disappeared, didn't off. it? It was there for about 10 Age minutes, we were, we were just... watching it. I don't know if I got it on film from the last time we was here. You ma did you? you? I know I couldn't see what you were looking at, so I went and stood in front mm. of you uh, so I could see direction what you were looking at, and then I saw it. Well, it was over the woods. Jackie were like, she was looking all over, but she couldn't see. I mean, Jackie were in its eye and she's going, I can't see it, I can't see it, but we could. Mm. I hope we, were you filming? Yeah, I think I was. I think I was filming it that particular time. I'll have to look and see. I'll have to check on the, uh, on the video again and see if it's... Uh, so, watch the previous yeah. version of, yeah, uh, of the video we did at Grace Jew um, Priory. A couple of other things happened when we were here, because you were over here, mm -hmm. me and Jax were over there. Yep. I put S-Box on, and a man's voice went, Oh, it's Jackie. Oh, Diane. And I'm like, what? We only been here five minutes. And uh, it looked like somebody were walking <coughs> on the green in front of the building <coughs> with a torch. Yeah. So we assumed that there was someone there. It seemed to come through the windows and the doorways and things like that. And then when we come, we got up to investigate and see all the weather, there was nobody there. Yeah. Not a person. So tonight we're going to see um, the cars. We're going to watch the cars a little bit. And we're going to see if there's any way a car a light did anything. Bugs all over me. Yeah, so I've got thousands of, of bugs all over me. So we're going to do a little bit of um, debunking to see if, well, see if it happens. See if the light can come right up to that building from the road, but I don't know. Yeah. We're going to try it anyway, see what happens. Yeah, let's there. put my hands down um, somewhere. What else? Have we got? Um, that's about it, I think. See, their car's there on the main road at the bottom. I will say one thing which I didn't say at the time. When me and you were filming and walking around, I had a very strange, weird thought, so I just dismissed it because it was ridiculous. I felt like somebody had been bricked up in a wall, and I thought, well, that's a stupid thing to think. So I didn't say no, I just got rid of it, forgot about it, left it alone. And then I was watching some videos on YouTube, and there were another paranormal group here, and they were going through history and this and other, and then they said that it had been reported that somebody were bricked up in a wall. Yeah. Mm. And I didn't say anything at the time, which was stupid for me not to say it, but it was a stupid thought. I'm like, what? Where have I got that from? What, did, was they bricked up alive or were they bricked up? I, did they, did they die no, and just chucked them in the wall? Don't know. I don't think there's any more um, information. They did that since do that quite a lot, didn't they, in olden days? Uh, yeah. In those days. I mean, if you did something wrong to somebody, they, they'd they pick you yeah. up in the wall. But, I mean, I didn't say anything to you when we were walking around filming because it was just a ridiculous, silly mm. thought that I thought, oh, dismiss that because it's not very nice. I don't want to think that. And then uh, a couple of days later, like I said, we were just going through YouTube and watching some of the paranormal groups and, you know, just seeing what they were doing. And, yeah, somebody said it. Yeah. You've got about three minutes left. Three minutes left. I've got tons, I mean, we could be here for hours if you want. <laughs> so, yeah. I do know that there's some, there's a pagan stone over that way, which people do put things on it, you know, like bring offerings like flowers and little crystals and things like yeah. that. We never saw that last time we came, did we? No. And some of the, this, Grace Chaperit, I'm not sure if I can find the information. I've got some more information at home about this from last time we were here. They used some of the some pagan stones. Oh yeah. For the foundations of this. Alright. But it's on ley lines, so maybe is this what's keeping the activity around this area? Mm. Could it be? I'm glad I brought those compasses tonight, what we got. Yeah. Could, you know, yeah. Give them a try if, if, if you know, with yeah. the ley lines and that. So, um, the last bit does mention that. It says, however, whilst this may have been 
of the case of many Christian foundations during the Saxon period, the nearby church of Whitwick, Whitwick for example, would almost certainly date back to Saxon orig origins. Yeah. Um, intentional site of a sacred place um, above a natural spring, which there's a... Yeah, that's behind us. Behind here where we are. Well, there's a stream yeah, a with stream, stepping yeah. stones. It is uh, probable that the link between uh, much later foundations for the Great Chapari and a site of a possible pagan significance. So they reckon that, well, that's what we're on about. So there was uh, pagan things going off around here. Uh, and obviously it's a, west, uh, a fresh water source. So that's why uh, they're around here. So the water. And then, then I've gone off on tangents on about Augustine monks and uh, various others. Mm. <laughs> I don't think you want to... I don't think you want to know about all that, do you? Well, we did. Put the, we, we spoke about the uh, Augustine monks yeah, well, last, last time we was here, didn't we? Yeah, and then I'm going to get some stuff on Benedictine monks as well. Mm. So I'm going to have it all round a good comprehensive, comprehensive knowledge. Yep, let me stand up now. little book that's uh, coming along with all our information. Oh. Ah. We've got all sorts of new Martin now. Yep. So everybody else is uh, uh, up at the uh, at the entrance of uh, Grace Hill Priory. So when we go back up that way, yeah. introduce you to uh, everybody, our members of uh, South Yorkshire Ghost doing, Hunters. Honey? If uh, if you are, yeah. So if you are interested in the paranormal and you would like mm. to come and join the paranormal group, South Yorkshire Ghost Hunters are always on the lookout for new members. We've got a lot of members on holiday. Yeah. Yeah, they're going to be a bit of a fragile stones. So that must have been, if you look up there, Diana, that seems quite strange. Was there a fire there as well? Or no, was that the chimney? I don't know. Aha, it's a good job I watch what I'm doing then. Maybe glasses. Yeah, Right, I'm just going to have a quick walk around then and show everybody uh, what we can see anyway. Uh, the light is not <coughs> that brilliant. So I'm just walking around the, uh, the inner, inner edge, I think it's the inner edge, inner edge of uh, this new priority here. So I don't fall down. So that's like a, that must be another level with a, a fire there. There you go. So this must be the ground floor, then the one above was probably the uh, the second floor. Can you talk in? Must be a what do you call it? I just heard a man's voice. Where's Ian? A deep man's voice. Is Ian up there? Is Ian up there? Yeah. I just heard a man's voice. But I don't know. If, I don't know if it was you. I don't know if it was being accused, acoustic, uh, travelling. Well, when I was in, on this side, but I don't know if it was... Where I was? Yeah. No, I was stood here, I walked through here, and then I heard it, but I don't know if it, it picked your voice up from over there, yeah. if you just spoke. Over there? Yeah. Where me and Chris felt the temperature change really quick and then go. Yeah. The K2 meters picked up twice, one on amber and then one straight to red, and Chloe's yeah. got it on video. All right. Oh, all good steady, Karen. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, I didn't know if it was, you know, because of the sound and yeah. this opening yeah. here, that it could have. Uh, I've not picked it up again. There's a lot of rocks around here, Karen. So just yeah. cause good steady. Yeah.
No, I just heard something. I think he could have been caught. And I think, do you know the opening? Yeah. Could be causing, do you know, like a cue sticks? And it's picking sound up from from a distance. And I thought there was somebody ever breathing. Can you hear that music? Into it. <coughs> what was Yeah, I think so. I can hear music over that yeah, way. Yeah, yeah. <coughs> so I think it's... I think with the shape of the of the building as well, yeah, it's picking the sounds up. map around that side there. Yeah. Oh, this right here. It was a bit rocky that way, Martin. Yeah, I know. Just be careful, Kevin. I will do. So we believe that this part down here, uh, because the uh, uh, the priory used to have a, have an hospital, right? And we believe that this could have been the uh, the the hospital. Well, according to the map, if I've got it right. It was this bit. What, do we turn into a hospital after a bit? Or? Uh, well, we, we don't know, we're not quite sure, but uh, it says there was an hospital. Church. This is the chapter house. Okay. I think. Because it says 20th century brick pier, because there's lots of 20th century stuff here look, to yeah. reinforce it. Yeah. The chapter house, it's like a meeting place, isn't it? Yeah. So where could the uh, hospital could have been? There was supposed to be. That uh, the the cloister nuns uh, had twelve patients here that they looked after. The, you know the the, the, yeah. the poorest of the poor, and they they looked after them. You see, mansion period chimney stack. This is why I think this is where we are, right? Yeah. Because there is a chimney stack there. Yeah. So where where are we actually yeah. based at, on there? Here at the moment, where we're based, I think is. I think here. In the kitchen. In there in the kitchen. Oh, so that's the kitchen. Yeah. So that could be the kitchen. No wonder we went there with food. Mansion <laughs> <laughs> period chimney stacks, that's where you and Diane were. Yeah. What, where them three chimneys are? Yeah. So that's why we ended up, that's why we stopped, because it was the kitchen to have his food. Yeah. yeah. Did you hear that then? Yeah, buzzing. No. I think we're Actually, like that's a... the church. That's what's left of the church. Did you think so? That's what it says there, look. Oh, yeah, yeah. East end of, uh, what's that, first, first church? First church and east end of latter church. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and that's the, what they call it. And then there's those yeah. steeples there. So is this where we are now? Yeah, yeah that's, that yeah, that's uh, right. inside here. Yeah. So where would the uh, where would the, the hospital tape play uh, be? Because oh. the people believe that the part. I reckon it could have been the actual cloister itself, mate, inside no. there. Oh no, the cloister. No, that bit. What that just bit grounds? Yeah. Yeah, I think that's, yeah, it the, is. The that's the like quad, what we used to call quadrangle, like up there. Look. Yeah. 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 So that that bit there, or that yeah. opening there, is yeah. the is the cloister. Unless. Well, there was those buildings here. I wonder if they could have been where the... Did you hear that then? Yeah. yeah. What did that sound like? Did that like sound like somebody was uh, shouting? What's that? It's a, bit, a bridge. Huh? It's uh, where the cattle come from. Did it sound like somebody was shouting? I heard some It sounded like... Somebody sh like shouting. How far are houses over there? They're a bit of a distance. Right. Put sound travels on a night. Yeah. That's why you yeah. can hear the music. So does it say that there were an hospital here then? Well, in. in uh, In one of these wings. Yeah, in, in Diane's uh, report it says that th there was a hospital here and it looked after 12 patients that were the worst of oh, like. I the dormitory here. Do you know where we've just been up there, where we've walked through? Yeah. 
That's a dead end. We've just walked through down here. Oh, yeah. That well, we've come say, out, yeah. It's just round this corner here. Upper floor extending mm. over close but, to but, walk. But oh, there was more than one level, so... Yeah. You know what I mean? Well, that's another level in here. Yeah, but I don't know why I'm... Uh, yeah, again. Yeah, I just said... Uh, My torch is having some new batteries. Slight. Can't be damaged, can it? I'm gonna go down here. I would have said so. I'm gonna go down here, right? Yeah. And I'll stand still. You mean Karen will stop here? I've got uh this is where I felt that temperature change. Is it? I feel a bit what do you call it now, my uh do you know when you get that shiver? Yeah, my knees are shaking. Like you, what do you call it? You know it's like, like always yeah. somebody what do you call it, I'm getting that shiver now. Because I, cause I heard it, I don't know if it was an animal or what, but it sounded like somebody was shouting. It sounded like more like a female, do you know, shouting? Yeah. I couldn't understand what it says, but back then they wouldn't have spoke, they would have spoke old English and not modern English like we speak now. Mm. Hey. He disappeared. That's a dog. That was a dog. Yeah, that was a dog walking. So, yeah, sound from a dog travels, doesn't it? So. What's that? I don't know. You can't hear me in. Like hitting something. Yeah. Was it like uh, I'm in chisel or something like that? Or like stone hitting stone? So it could have been like stone hitting stone? Yeah. So that's a plane. We're very close to East Midlands Airport, so. Yes. That's uh, a plane. It's far early, is it? Yeah. So we'll walk down to uh, Right against the wall so it don't move and make a sound. Oh yeah, let's uh, let me go get this wall. Oh, it's a bomb. They are, aren't they? See, when I was up there, it sounded like those sounds were coming from here, that's why I pressed it here. Mm. Noisy cars. See if you can feel temperature change. Oh god, I've got all goosebumps all over my face. Go to end. That's where me and Chris built it at exactly the same time. 
and we walked inside and come back out and the temperature had gone. Further down, it does feel a bit. Uh, it does. You, you can feel it when yeah. you walk into it, can't you? Yeah, it's, it's cool here. It's cold here. I've got goosebumps on my face. It's very. It was very. You walk out of here. You see, it feels warmer. It's warmer. Yeah, but I tried to debunk it, Martin, because. The sun's been on walls all day, all right, and we walked in there, and yeah. then I come out here, and then but when we went back in there to try and debunk it, and I come back out here, it yeah. wasn't cold, do you know what I mean? It was mm. the same temperature. Yeah. But it was me and Chris that both felt it exactly the same time, because the walls are still warm from the sun you being on. Yeah. 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 yeah, you can feel heat uh, yeah. uh, in the, the, the sun's beat the walls. Yeah. I mean, I put my back against it, I could feel the heat, yeah. Yeah. you know, coming off it. But you can actually feel the heat on it. Yeah, the thud. I don't, was that me? I'm not sure. Let's just stand back here again. I don't feel that cold now. I don't feel it. No, that's exactly what me and Chris were like. I don't, uh, it, were, it felt like a breeze. Now that yeah, breeze, no that breeze, breeze is, is, that? that breeze is gone. Now probably it, it may be colder out here because uh, it's open up, but I don't know. I'm not too sure. I don't feel it is as because it did feel like there was a, a slight breeze, yeah. but the heat wasn't the heat none now. We I can remember we come down here last time we put a oh, brought Ouija board down here, so probably we could try again with it. You know, we come oh, down a couple of us come down with a Ouija board and so we can pick up anything down here. So we go back have another cup of tea. Yeah. I brought mine with me. I feel like I can hear somebody walking in grass. Ah, oh, blinking, go away, you blinking car. Boy racer. That's them talking up there. I just heard a thud then. Karen heard a thud a few minutes ago. It came coming over that way, but I don't know if it was something from a, you know, from a distance. Or was it some part of uh, the Priory? Um, where Chloe's got it on video, where yeah. K2's peaked twice, once onto amber and then one all the way up to red. Yeah. You didn't have no more about phones on, did you? No, mine's, mine's still over there. Mm. There's supposed to be lots of ley lines here as well. Do you oh, know? Sorry. Ley lines. Alright, I'm going to plead dumb now. What's the ley yeah, line? Yeah, so ley lines are like. Uh, um, energy that uh, you know crosses over. Right. It's like you could have a, a path. It could be a ley line. Right. And it's uh, the, the same. But the yeah, uh, these ley lines have uh, have energy, and uh, so maybe it's, it could be something like that. Got some nice bright. Uh, Whoa, darling! Look at that. A nice orange moon tonight. Why don't you bring the camera? Let's see if I can. Uh, 
Yeah. Zoom into the uh, to the moon here. Stunning, isn't it? Full moon. Yeah, beautiful. Hopefully, it's going to get bigger and uh, light up uh, the priory. It's lovely, that, isn't it? Yeah. Gorgeous. Get the silhouette of it all. Yeah. Uh, it's uh, probably coming round. Uh, the tractor to blinking light. Oop. I think I've just swallowed one. Yeah, I'll be a bit of protein. Yeah, I think it's because we've got the torches there. Yeah. All in the air, making me a ditch yeah. and everything. We've just had a little bit of activity. Have you? Yeah. Uh, we have. On what? Uh, we, just, we just did an open. We just did an open prayer. And as we finish the opening prayer, keep going off. Going off. Yeah. Yeah, that'll be your phones. Yeah, the boat that should be phones. Yeah. Turn yeah, your phones off. You know that phone up there? Yeah. I put a case. We've got a REM pod. We yeah. sat here. Just did an opening prayer. As soon as we finished the prayer, the REM pod went off. Yeah. And then we were talking about REM pods and slugs and stuff. So Chris and Anthony's come over here to look to make sure there's no bugs, slugs or anything. Uh -huh. And you know the other centre, what I've got set up over there? Oh yeah. That went off. Did it? Yeah. But you've got to go right up there before it'll go off. Really. Is this it here? Yeah. Yeah. You've got to get oh that yeah. Went off. But the thing is, you've got to come over here to set it off. Have a wee. You've got to come here to set it off. Well, yeah, I just walked Chris right was, up to it. Chris and Anthony was over there. There's no way they've set that off. Is that another wall there? That one has. Let me just look here. Is that another another wall? No, it's not. No. So, there you go. So we was uh, we was we were down there. Me, I thought I heard a man's voice. Yeah. So, times. so, but I would feel that yeah gap of that wall. So I'm not sure if it was the acoustics from here that was going through the wall. Do you know for the doorway, or or I picked up a a, a, a male voice, and then we went for a walk round. And then we went to the far end. It sounded like I thought it sounded like a woman's voice shouting yeah. from a distance. What could you work out anything that they were saying? No, because, because well, back then they weren't even spoke spoke in, spoke in English. Were they, uh, if you say if it was uh, from the cloister nuns and that they wouldn't have spoke any well, modern spoke English, it would, would have been old English that they would have spoke. Yeah. So I wouldn't have understood a word, single word that they were saying. We were just having a conversation about S box and how S box works and various other bits and pieces because Chris wants to have a go at that. Yeah. So we're going to do that in a bit. I'm on. Uh, yeah, Jack, Jack wants a compass, so we're just Give discussing what we're going to do, right? But we did say before we start, we'll do, not, we'll do the prayer. Mm -hmm. So it was me talking, you'll have heard me talking more than a man. Mm -hmm. because we were discussing. Uh, I've got a flaming mouth. Uh, we're discussing equipment and yeah. ley lines. lines. Yeah, we're on about ley lines and and um, churches and various things like that. So we're having a right good conversation about that. Yeah. Still yeah. Yeah. Very good. Yeah. So, yeah. Coming up behind clap. Anyway, everybody, I'm going to go have a quick cup of tea and then we'll uh, get back on with the uh, with the programme here of uh, doing uh, some ghost hunting. So I'll just introduce you to everybody. We've got uh, Jackie with us. Hiya. Good evening, everybody. We've got uh, Chloe. Hello. Diane, as you know. Uh, we've got uh, Chris with us. Hello, Chris. Hiya. And uh, also Ian. Hiya, guys. And Karen. Hey, up, guys. And Anthony. Yeah, hiya. Yeah, so uh, there you go. So there you go, everybody. Uh, so I'm going to go for a cup of tea mm -hmm. and a uh, quick cigarette. Yeah. And, uh, I know, it's great. Have you seen the uh, moon, Martin? Yeah, I've seen it. Right, good night. Yeah. It's a good orange moon, that. Wow. 
So hopefully we're going to catch some. Uh, it's uh, it's that mo it's that moment that's yeah. in the sky. I know, it's but we have the named duck, they're different we seasoned and that. Um, we've had strawberry moon, so I don't know this one. It's strawberry one. This one. is orange moon. This is orange one. Definitely orange. Yes. Do you know why it's supposed to have been known for UFO sightings? Because it's on ley lines. There's ley lines and... So I like to say ley lines. And rocks and uh, yeah, minerals and stuff. Well, um, I would say to you... Uh, ley lines, plus keep off energy. Quartz, crystal and... What is it? Limestone? Mm. Rock? It's like a yellowish. So that's the same we like um, Stonehenge. Yeah. Plus it'll probably be on their lands, I know. There's two, there's two big ley lines that run through England. And one comes from the bottom, I think, goes <coughs> just to the side of Sheffield. It's drying up and then there's a smaller one. I think right. that one what you're on about will be boundary between Chesterfield and Derbyshire. Somewhere like that, yeah. Like the cross that there. used to be noted. You know where yeah, I'm doing did you hear it? Yeah. What did you hear? Somebody walking at the back know. of here. It might be somebody walking through, is it? Shh. Well, I'm cold. Hello? 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 <coughs> You, you remind me of a person, Jack. Ian, Jack that's there, always yeah. tinkering about with something. Uh, yeah, I like to. <laughs> <laughs> I'm one of these that, if, if it's not brought, don't grab leave grab it, you'll mean it. I will play with it. Like mm. Yeah, you're curious, mate. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. You seem like the person likes to tinker about so with... Uh, my dad, though, my dad uh, repair old Martin. Yeah. Like, even a tinker, you know, the old tube TVs. Yeah. My dad had to repair them and... I, I give up uh, playing about with stuff because uh, I used to take things apart and yeah, ended, up, did. <laughs> and, uh, ended up with loads of school spare. What? Where did that come from? <laughs> Your dad would buy something just to take it apart. Yeah, you know my I mean? brothers were like that. First, Everything they bought, you have to take apart. I remember we, we played over the yellow. Can you remember the old shop called B Jam? No. It was, it's like an old-fashioned like Iceland there. Um, they were selling, do you remember the soda streams when they first came out? Yeah, I can remember. Yeah, so. yeah, Dad bought one on Saturday from Leviton Spark when we lived in Warwickshire. And me and my brother were all excited. Oh, you know, we can get some lemonade and cola and cherry aid and stuff like that. Yeah. Oh, no, Dad didn't let us use it when he got it home. He took it apart on the kitchen table just to see how it worked. Yeah. <laughs> well, I don't know why, Darren, this one ain't working. Have you broke it? Is that the new one? <coughs> Is he out in it? Is that the one that we um yeah, it's it. that we didn't open? Is this the one you've opened today? Yeah, I think so. It's not got tea bag in. <laughs> you know, he got straw in and tried to see so. Yeah, we could do with one of them uh, big uh reasons, uh one of the sorry nine. We could do with something like that. Uh, I had a. Do you know the old baby burkos that the old wives used to boil nappies in? No, my mother used to do them in a great big pan. What? It's going all, it's going all over. over. Yeah, it's all over your uh, freezer. Oh. <laughs> Here, stop mine. You're getting a drink, aren't you? <laughs> yeah. Half of it's on fire. My, my mother, when I was a kid, uh, for, my, for my twin brothers, because I've got two twin brothers and uh, my other brother, Robert. I remember she used to have this great big pan. It was huge. And it covered the cooker. Uh, and she used to cook, uh, sorry, she used to boil the nappies in that. Terry towel in nappies. Yeah. It were huge. Big stainless steel. Yeah. Yeah. We've got yeah. one sat in his garden, haven't we? Chloe's dad. Chloe's dad, yeah. It was uh, it was huge. It's working now. I'll be There you go. I fixed it. Look. There you go. Anybody else want one? That's what happens when you tinker. Yeah. <laughs> Anybody else want one? So there you go. Anyway, everybody, gonna go for a cigarette and uh, a drink here. Yeah, I can do. And uh, we'll. Uh,
We'll catch you uh, uh, in a few seconds. Uh -huh. So, bye for now. Hi, everybody, we're back. And, uh, Oops! A blinking ball. So everybody, I'm uh, just uh, just put some uh, uh, sensors down, some uh, uh, light sensors. So uh, uh, along this path, so uh, if we do get any paranormal activity, as you can see, they're not uh, on at the moment. But uh, these are uh, just normal house uh, garden sensors. So as you can see there, the uh, sensors uh, should come on. That one stopped working. So hopefully, if we get something, these. Uh, these lights are uh, going to uh, uh, go off, uh, and so we we'll use these as, uh, as trigger objects, as you can see. So, uh, gosh, well, I think they're about twenty pound. You got about ten of them uh, from uh, from Amazon. So we've used these uh, a few times, so they're just just going off now, as you can see. So hopefully, uh, if anything should happen. That uh, we do pick something up, then uh, uh, these lights are, uh, are going to do the trick for us. So let's go away from them. So, do you want to go down there to do a Ouija board, Ian? You don't want to do it. No, you want to do it up. apart from Chris and me. Just gonna do that. Just gonna do this. Yeah. All right. And me, we'll go down. Well, I will go away. I'll make it so it's far. Right. Well, I'm just gonna take a quick walk then. Okay. All right. I just wanna have a walk in these woods. Yeah. <coughs> I'm gonna take a kit. Okay. So I'm going to take a K2 meter with us. I haven't got my phone on me. No, I haven't. That one egg. That one egg. Do you want a K2 meter? Yeah. So. See what we uh, might pick up in the uh, in the woods. So yeah, last time we was here, we walked out of here and went this same footpath further up, and uh, I like to sh shot straight past us all. And it looked like somebody was on a, on a bicycle. And when he got to the, uh, do you know that fence where we was going to go off real? Yeah. When it uh, got to, to that, it just disappeared. And we didn't have a, we wasn't filming because we, we were going home. So we're going to uh, film, tonight. film tonight on his way out of here and see if it might happen again, possibly it won't do. Or probably it won't do, not possibly.
Well, one of them is mum. And one's Chloe, so I think it'll be alright. Just let you know I am filming. They're nice flowers. Well, they're nice, aren't they? No, they're like they are. I wonder what's some of this here. Yeah. Oh, they're nice. Okay. Oh, okay. It's like a gorge. I think, yeah. Do you know most of this around here? Yeah. If you look at it, it's like in bits of it, it looks like it must be a part part of a river or something. There is a stream running down there, isn't there? Yeah, yeah. Could have got smaller and smaller. Yeah, that's it, and just dried up. Yeah. So you can hear that stream here. Yeah, it's down here, but... Yeah. See how high embankments are they, Mike? So it could have been a lot deeper. Mm. Probably could have been a river at one time, yeah. you know what I mean, running yeah. through. So when we come up here, yeah, that gate just to the side, didn't it? Yeah, there used to be, I'm sure that to, this way we came, and there was a gate on here. Yeah, I know. Yeah, they did, yeah. yeah. So when we came, there was a gate, and we got to here, and this is where we saw that flash of light come down, through and, there. The, and, it and it went through there. But nobody got off and opened the gate, it just went straight through. Mm. Can I try something like that? Yeah, try, try what you want. Yeah, that statue around there. Yeah, do you, yeah, you, you want to walk down there? Yeah. Yeah, well, I was thinking that, that's the reason why, you know, with K2 metres, we should have brought a compass as well. Right. Should have brought me phone that's got a compass on. Yeah. I think my <laughs> So, I've never seen this statue here. It's nice, but there's no way he's raving on it or out. Yeah, he's yeah. supposed to be uh, a, a pagan. I'm covered in insects. Yeah, I am. <laughs> I sprayed myself before I come out. If you want some, Karen's got it. Uh, yeah, compass. Oh, there you go. Yeah, is it magnetic? Is it a magnetic compass? Uh, uh, oh, I know what you're all about. Picked up the magnetic field. Yeah. So we could, we've got some compasses. Where's we could have brought one? Uh, do you know what it is? I wonder what, what it's supposed to be. So this is supposed to be some kind of a pagan symbol. Okay, so it's a woman. It looks like a nun to me. Yeah. Uh, that's what it looks like. So I don't know, that's not going to be pagan. Uh, with, it being a, with it being a nun. See, I thought... Was this a statue? Because yeah. these ruins are named after a female. Okay. Is that those stepping stones over there? Yeah, but you can't get over it. Stepping stones back down that way, aren't you? Hey. The ruins. Is there? Yeah. Yeah. We came across them earlier. Okay. Now it's also good. 
So I'll sort of try and do that, uh, try and do a ghost hunt near floating water. Uh, because sometimes, spirits, yeah, uh, you, you can sometimes listening to the water, you can actually pick voices up in, in, through, through the water. Now I wonder, does this, can you get out this way? We're not no, we didn't go far down, we just went down for stepping stones. We went down that way, didn't we? It may be best, it might be better. Have a quick look. Have a look, do you know if I can, if I'm yeah. going, well for all of us really, we carried everything back. Especially we're going up uh, uphill. Stepping stones are just down there, so right. It's somewhere this way, isn't it? I don't know. Is it? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I've, uh, yeah, that takes us back to uh, the camp. To the ruins, yeah. yeah. Do you know where that chimney stack is where you and Diane were? Yeah. It's the back of that. So if we have a look down here, this may be the other way to get out. So what we could do later on, Ian, Bring cars down. is being your walk up for cars. Yeah. It looks like there's a footpath there, huh? Which might close to the road. And, uh, but some, we saw some people from this way, didn't we? Yeah. And then go out this way. Yeah, I can see it. So, if this is a path, it's going to be a public footpath. So we should be able to get. Hey. Oh yeah, we can. Oh brilliant. Or pull over at least. Yeah. Well, well, we just now there's a gate open. It looks like it does. It looks like when yeah, it does. Yeah, one of spring bar ones. Yeah. So we can go out this way then. <coughs> so if you go on the road with your camera and lights, let me go and have a look. You don't want to blind the drivers, do you? Oh, I don't mind. <laughs> yeah, oh, we can. Excellent. I'll just, if the car comes, I'll just uh, drop my light down. So yeah, we're on road, aren't we? Yeah. So where are we here? I mean, we could just pull up on... Grass Verge, there. Aren't Grass Verge? Or we could pull, pull up on pavement here. Yeah, here will be even better, won't it? Yeah, I mean, we're only going to be here for about 10 minutes. Well, what we could do... We can drive down here, look. There's a sign there for public footpath. Yeah. Ah, oh, wow, well, we've uh, we sorted this way out. I thought we could have gone here that way and all, go away. But is there an entrance there? Uh... Well, yeah, it's great. Um, that, isn't it? Yeah, but there's a sign here. Yeah, there's no other... No, at least we can drive on here, now. Yeah, we could... We could drive... Further down there. Turn round. Drive up here. Over there. There's a car, there's a car light yeah, there's, there's a bit of road over there. Uh, oh, we just pull up here. Just come down here and drive up. Just drive onto it. No, but nobody's going to come down here. Yeah, I don't know, please, no. roll like that. Not at this time, hopefully. No. So instead of walking up through woods, yeah, we could walk along there to uh, yeah. go for a car, you know what I mean? So we're walking up main road. Instead of climbing up. Uh, that's uh, that bit there now. So there you go. After all that. I mean, we can help them carry them stuff to the other side of the street and stuff in the stones, can't we? Yeah. We leave them there while we go for cars. Yep. We could walk up. Here. There you go. It's going to be a lot easier, isn't it? Shut the gate. There you go, we've... Uh, sorted. We've sorted it. Can uh, we go back up to that path? Yeah, by all means. I just want to do a K2... Uh, just now test what K2 means, yeah? Just to see if we you go back exactly the same way. Go on. Yeah, just see if we pick up anything with K two meters.
on that on that path where we saw that light last time we come. Is that a stone? I don't know. I didn't notice it on his way past. Looks like a druid stone or Could be. Should we have a look? Yeah. Could be like a druid stone, you know what I mean? Don't they point in a particular direction? Look at that move. That's It could be a druid stone with the looks of it because it's just uh, mm. Yeah, it's like it's been cut. It's been cut out it with something. It's, you know, like a tractor. Might, might have cleaned it or something. Gosh. See, it's shaped and all, isn't it? Yeah. It is, it's shaped. It's like it's just been... <laughs> Like God's just sent a great big uh, stone arm. <laughs> I wonder why they've done this. They're just shapes as well. Yeah, he's cutting squares, isn't it? Yeah. It's right weird, that. But is that being put there, or is it the possibility that it might have been put there with the looks of it? Do you know how it's shaped? Yeah. But when was it put there? Uh huh. Thousands of years ago, probably. Is that somewhere? Is this the path? Yeah. Or is that? No, that's it. A bit to your right. Mm. But if it were a druid stone, I thought it might have been some more. You know, around it. Yeah. Because <coughs> usually, <coughs> usually druid stones are in the circle. I mean, it could have been at one time, it could have been in a circle, you know what I mean? And all other stones have gone. It's awkward holding this, this torch. Yeah, I thought that was like a symbol, that, that pagan statue, but it's not, is it? It's a, no. it's a nun. With headdress and that, not yeah. as you <laughs> So, Peter. Nobody's got a phone on, my, on a map there. No. My phone's on there, the phone mark. Oh yeah, that's good then. For some reason my phone's losing charge really quick. Oh yeah. So I've turned it off on the way out so I can video or take pictures. Yeah. So I just want to... I've got one as well. We'll just stand round here or sit round here. My bike's hurting me. So, do we have anybody here who would like to communicate with us? Would you like to come forward? The last time I was here, I saw a big white light come shooting down this path and disappear into that, that, uh, that second field over there. I got a funny feeling it was somebody on a mountain bike right. that, was, that had passed away. Do we have any? Uh, so not actual physically on yeah, the well, bike, yeah, did, you were here? Yeah. Well, yeah, we was here. No, but not somebody on physically on the mountain bike. Uh, not physically, but... Spirit. Because we do have uh, uh, racing in this woods. Bike trails, yeah. Uh, bike trails, yeah. And it looked like to me that it was somebody that may have had an accident and passed away. Uh, I'm not sure how, how true that is, but I just got that feeling after when we saw it, because it did look like the, the headlights of a bike. 
but it just disappeared. The gate was locked shut like that, as we just as you've just seen, everybody. And the light just just comes zooming past us. Is there anybody who has anybody died along this path on a mountain bike or on a racing bike or some kind of uh, a bicycle? Could you come and touch this device that's in my hand? It's called a K2 meter. If you touch this device, it will light up different colours from green to yellow to red to orange to red. Sorry. Could you come and show yourself? Could you come and ride down this path? Because I did see a light. May I believe it was the 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 spirit of a, a person that died on a bicycle it's maybe a mountain bike i'm not sure if anybody's watching this video if you're from this location uh at uh grace Jill priory through the woods do you know if anybody's ever passed away here uh on a, on a bike maybe uh, uh I'm just going to shoot up ahead a bit. Yep, okay. See if I can get out on this. And if I do, I'll give you a holler. Yep, I'm okay. One torch. No. Is there anybody here who would like to come forward? Do you want to? Do you want to hold that, uh, Anthony? And see if we can get it to flash or anything. Do we have anybody here who would like to communicate with us? Come and show us a sign that you're here. Can we touch this device that Anthony's got? It's got a green light on it. If you will show us a sign that you're here, come and touch it. Well, uh, it'll uh, light up all different pretty colours. We're not here to arm you. We're here as friends. We're here to communicate. Maybe you don't know that you passed away and, and maybe you're, you're riding through here understanding that you're still in a race. Maybe that race is now fin that race is finished now, so uh, you can probably stop riding. But can you come and show me that you are here? I wonder what's up that path. I don't know. Should we have a quick look? So he's got Grace Dew Trail. Trail. Uh, I can't see that. Uh, would have been for mountain bikes, but I don't know where this uh, leads to. I think it's just a pen, isn't it? I think it's just a, a path that goes up, but what's it going up to? It seems to, uh, yeah, it just goes up. Yeah, it goes. I think it probably might go back. Do you know a leading of a way to bridge? I think it does. Do you know the uh, the bridge. See, look. If you look here, we're just down here. These are like old trails for bikes. Do you know if you look here, uh, Anthony? Uphill mounds, yeah. downhill mounds. So I think I think this possibly this uh, is a, a a bike track. Yeah. Down there, yeah, so I think that's what this is. I think this is a bike track, uh, Ian. Yeah. Do uh, you know for the mountain bikes? Yeah, do you know them big trunks? Yeah. And that footpath we came in on? Yeah. I think Garen's in there, or Ed there, where she's there, like, I'm still got the F2. Yeah. Because yeah. if you look at that there, it's an obstacle, do you know, to get up there yeah. and uh, uh, over the other side. Not sure, yeah.